Welcome to the Cute as a Button bracelet tutorial brought to you by the East Baton Rouge Parish Library. These kits are a grab and go team kit available at Greenwell Springs Regional Library. Kits will be available starting Monday, February 1st while supplies last. My name is Katina and I will be your presenter. Let's get started. To begin, first you will remove the needles from the packet. You will take your thread and you need to thread each end of the thread on the needle, okay? Now to save time, I have already threaded my needles. So basically you would just simply pass the thread on one eye of the needle and you will leave a little tail hanging off. So this is one side of the thread, the needle that I've already threaded and I've threaded the other end. You want the center of the thread to be in the middle, like this. Now to begin, you're going to string 25 C beads on one of the needles. One, two, three, You can push them down as you go along. Okay, now I have my 25 C beads on my needle. And I'm going to center the beads in the middle of the thread. To center the beads, hold both needles evenly. Push the beads down. So I'm going to put one two hole bead um, on the left needle. And next I'm going to pass the right needle through the right hole of the two hole beads. So this is the left needle, I just passed it through, but I have another hole here. Now I'm gonna pass the right needle through the other hole of the bead and just pull it down so you should have something that looks like this then I'm going to add two C beads on the left needle then add two C beads on the right needle and pull it down and this is what your work should look like so far now I'm going to repeat steps four and five until I have the desired length bracelet length to fit my wrist All right, now, once you think you have a comfortable length to fit your wrist, you're going to measure um, the bracelet length by wrapping the bracelet around your wrist to determine if you have a comfortable length um, to fit around your wrist. And I think this is a comfortable length for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and end here. Now, make sure you end your bracelet on a two-hole bead before adding the button as a closure. I know that this button can fit through this loop because I've already tested it um, previously. If you decide to use a different button of your choice, uh, make sure that your button will be able to fit through the loop of your particular uh, bracelet. So to add my button on my bracelet, I'm going to take 
my thread and I'm going to bring it through insert my needle in one of the holes on my button I'm going to take the other needle and bring it through the hole adjacent next to the um, thread so this is what I have now I'm going to go ahead and cross okay my needle and bring it down into this hole okay and pull it through now take my other needle the left needle and cross it diagonally and bring it across in this hole and I'm simply going to just keep working in this manner just to tighten my button Once you think that you have a comfortable number of stitches to hold your button to the bracelet, you simply can remove your needles from the thread. You can insert them back into the pack to practice safety. And then I'm going to simply just tie my thread my, um, together to form a knot. And I'm going to do this a few times. So you can do it three to four times. If you like more, it's up to you at your discretion. Pull it tight. And then you can snip the thread as close as possible. And be careful not to cut um, the thread holding the um, button to the bracelet. And you now have a finished bracelet um, for you to wear. All right, now this is what my finished bracelet looks like. Hope you enjoy your cute as a button bracelet. Thank you.